I set out in the summer of 2003 to investigate a story that had come to my attention. It was a story about a, a ghost named Mr. Sandal that had been, shall we say, invading the house next door where he used to live, the, the Breer household. I went to do a, a simple documentary. I, I wanted to make an interesting story, but what I found was much, much more. I guess he's some sort of a urban legend. You, you used to live right on that way yonder. And I'd be coming out here for some drinks, sneak away from the wife occasionally, and these trees, they rustle just, just like that. Just like that. And I tell you, I, I don't know if it's Mrs. Sandall or a blaming on El Nino or the terrorists, but I believe in him. I think he's around. I do. I tell you right now, I do. I believe in him. I think he's around. I think, I think he might be around here right now. Lots of rumors, but I don't believe them. I think uncles are just trying to scare us. And old Joe was the, he was the epitome of a, of a good employee for the Union Pacific. Old Joe would, he would uh, go on away on vacation sometimes, and we never knew whether he was going to be gone too long or a long, long time. I never really knew the man. Uh, I'm not sure he exists, but the people who live here tell me that he did. I've never seen him, but sometimes late at night they're... Oh! He's there! I heard about the ghost, but I think it's not true. some research on this Mr. Soundall guy, and um, I think that he is still floozing around the Brer residence. <laughs> when I started to hear about this stuff about this Mr. Sandolf guy, I thought my uncles were just trying to play a joke on me. But after this weekend, it's really starting to scare me. Like that. Sometimes it just makes me wonder. <laughs> Yeah. 
again for one of those. Es mi amor, pero él me dejó para una otra mujer, pero todavía él es en mi corazón. Do you remember when Uncle Billy used to do Mr. Head? Yeah, behind Grandpa's couch and he used to be like, hey, oh, Mr. Head. All those kids were like, hey, that's awesome. It was very believable. Yeah, that was cool. I remember. Oh my that. god, you guys, I just heard the craziest thing. <laughs> what? On the radio. Mr. Head was really Mr. Sandal. No. What? Yeah, Shut no, up. seriously, Mr. Head was Mr. Sandal. What? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, there it is! Hi, I'm Mr. Head. Hi, Mr. Head. Do you believe that whole thing that Scooter just told us about Mr. Head being Mr. Sandal? No. It's kind no. of a bit unrealistic to me. I don't know. Scooter sometimes just thinks of these random things and... No, I don't, I don't believe, believe it either. That just seems a little far well, could be true. You guys, oh, I have to talk to you about something. What? What's wrong? I think that... I'm pregnant. What? Yeah. Oh, my mom is gonna kill you. I know, but what happened? I think it's Mr. Sandal's baby. Yeah. <laughs> but what I always liked, it was the creative side to Mr. Sandal. Not too many people knew about. He did beautiful works with glass. Mm -hmm. Way before Chabuli was doing it. That creative side of him, not many people knew about. It was just wonderful the way he would put just plain everyday bottles out in the sun and it would take you know, like 10 years but he'd wait for that to turn a certain color and the way he'd use that was just a wonderful medium. I've always heard that he makes beautiful pottery. You know, his techniques were amazing how he would mold the pots and to these beautiful vases. Yeah, I kind of I forgot about his pottery. I really liked it too. It was, it was very, very unique. unique. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? This is what I call vacation. That's weird. I would like to show you a trick, and Mr. Sandal is going to be my assistant. Get those cards and put them there. Cut these cards and put them there. Cut those cards and put them there. Take the top card and put it there. <laughs> Cut those cards and put them there. <laughs> Cut these cards and put them there. <laughs> the top card and put it here. <laughs> Cut these cards and put them there. <laughs> Cut these cards and put it there. <laughs> Take the top card and put it there. <laughs> Flip them all up. Mr. Sandal always comes through.
see a skeleton somewhere, but nobody will find it because it's buried deep, deep, deep under the ground. Mr. Sandal scares me. kids have been talking a lot about this Mr. Sandal thing. What do you think about it? You know, I don't believe her for a minute. Me neither. <laughs> Mr. Sandal would always wear his long sleeve shirt no matter how hot it was outside. You'd see him out there and he probably weighed about 90 pounds soaking wet. Get up on his ladder with his long sleeve shirt, 100 degrees outside and Start hammering away. Hey, where the spoons go? Hey, where the spoons? Whitney! It wasn't me! Oh my it god. It was probably Lindsay. She's huge. You guys look! Nah. Oh, you did that. What did you do, Andrew? I didn't do anything. <laughs> Afraid of Mr. Sandal? No way, no how. What do you think about this Mr. Sandal? I don't know. I think it's duh um. I don't know what the dealio is. Have you heard anything else about him? No. Just stupid people like, oh my god, Mr. Sandal. <laughs> I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> <sighs> what was that? Uh... just happened right now. Oh my god, I can't believe it just happened. I was over there in the woods, and there was a ruffling in the bushes and a loud moaning noise, and I just had to rush all the way over here. I can't believe it just happened. 